Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Valkyrin. I know I've been gone for a while, but I've returned and I've got some more content for you guys. So the segment that I'm doing in this video is actually going to be titled Advice from Valkyrin. And what I'm going to do is I take the questions that are asked of me on my social medias, on my stream, and I pick some of the best ones and I'm going to do video responses of those questions. And here's one of the questions that I recently got that I want to go over. Hey Valkyrin, I recently just got to Platinum and I've been getting toxic teams and just not very skilled teammates lately. I'm not just going to blame my teams, but what can I do to carry them? Thanks as always. So that's a really good question to start the series off with because there are a lot of different variations of that same question that I'm asked a lot. How do I carry teammates that seem like they don't want to be carried? How do I get out of this bracket of play? What do I do? That's basically what um, the question comes down to. There are a lot of different things you can do. But the main thing that we should focus on with this question is once you reach the bracket of play that you're supposed to be in, if you're a platinum level player and you're in platinum, things become a little bit more difficult. That's because if you look at it from a prior standpoint, if you're a platinum level player but you're not quite in platinum yet, chances are the skill difference in whatever lane you're playing in or, or whatnot is going to be great enough that you can offset your teammates. But when you're in the bracket of play that you're supposed to be in and you're trying to improve to that next bracket of play you have to step it up you have to start doing these small little tweaks here and there to try and just increase your win rate and let's start off by saying that you should be or you should want to be able to play every role if you can play every role that makes you a very valuable player because once you reach the bracket of play that you're quote unquote supposed to be in according to your mechanical skill at that point in game knowledge then it comes down to each individual game of like what happens in champion select and whatnot. If your teammates aren't getting their desired roles and you can do a better job in a role that you normally don't like to play than someone else, you might have a higher chance of winning that game if you take the undesired role that game. Like if no one wants to play top lane and you know you're a pretty decent Renekton or something like that, maybe that game you need to play top lane. That way... Uh, your teammate that only plays support can play support that game. There's no reason to harp on and champion select on, on your teammates, like saying, hey, if you can only play support, you should go to normal games. That happens all the time in champion select. Don't be that person that says that. You just have to deal with it. And that's the first step that I, that I suggest, is being able to play multiple roles. If you're not able to do that, then I suggest you look into being able to play more than the current roles that you can play. That just opens up a lot more uh, available doors for you to do in terms of... Uh, progressing to the next bracket of play. The next thing that you need to do is you need to figure out how you can step your game up individually. Start re watching your own replay. Start recording your game footage, either Baron replay, LOL replay, or just recording it using your stream. You want to be able to go back and watch what you're doing and think about why you did it or how did this happen. And there is so much to be learned from replays. Oh, man. Like, I replay, I mean, I go over my own replays still. Like, I, it's something that you should never stop doing because you'll pick up bad habits as you go on. You, you'll do things and you look back on it. It's like, why did I do that? Like, I, I, I need to make sure I don't do that ever again. So that's the second thing is number two is go over your own replays. And the third thing is when you get toxic teammates, which was addressed in this question, you absolutely need to mute them. Never, ever let a toxic teammate just go rampant in your chat log. Mute them as soon as they start being toxic. And I promise you, it will help your gameplay. Even if they're not being toxic towards you, if they're being toxic towards your teammate, once you open that chat bar and you start typing like, hey guys, stop being toxic, you're not playing the game. You took your hands off that mouse. You don't want to do that. <laughs> the more times you take your hand off that mouse is less time that you're able to farm, generate gold, do anything in the game that would help you win. So immediately mute them when they start being toxic towards anyone in that game and just keep playing and keep trying to win. Thanks for watching this uh, new segment, guys. If you have questions that you want to see on here or you just want to you know, chat with me, then make sure you submit a question via Facebook, Twitter, or even on my stream. And the stream questions are probably the ones that I'm more keen on answering on stream, obviously, but some of them are really long and I'm like, hey, I'm going to answer this in a video. And I'm just now starting this series that I was supposed to start a while ago, but I'm just now getting back in, into the swing of things on YouTube. And, um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.